On Sunday, May 31st, 2020, we resumed our weekend public masses. It was a beautiful opportunity for us to come together and pray, just as the apostles did in the upper room there at Pentecost. On that particular Sunday, May 31st, we celebrated here in our church the feast of the descent of the Holy Spirit upon the apostles. The apostles were sheltering in place. They were fearful. They were afraid. But the Holy Spirit came upon them in tongues of fire and empowered them to go out and share the good news. The Holy Spirit came down upon them and strengthened them so that they could go make and teach, so that they could share the love of God, the mercy of God with many people. And they went forth that day. They left the fear and they went out sharing the good news. And so too in 2020 and 2021, we are like the apostles, being filled with the Holy Spirit so that we can go out and share the good news with others. This year, we are seeking to be united in the Holy Spirit. Whether we're praying together physically or virtually, we desire the Holy Spirit to unite us as one body, as one community, as one people of God. As we rely on prayer, we ask the Holy Spirit to conform our hearts to be more like Christ. As we are willing to grow, we ask the Holy Spirit to enlighten our minds so that we may live like Christ and understand as God understands. And as we are living out of a generous spirit, we ask the Holy Spirit to unite our wills to that of God's so that we would always act in accordance with his plan, which is the best plan, which allows us to experience true joy and happiness and peace even in the midst of trial, struggle, and, and persecution. My brothers and sisters, this year, I invite you to commit to living out the core values. Ask the Holy Spirit to help you rely on prayer. Ask the Holy Spirit to help you grow into the saint that he desires you to become. Ask the Holy Spirit to help you live out of a generous spirit as the apostles did there at Pentecost. Our recently installed icons of St. John the Baptist and our Blessed Mother Mary, the Mother of God, are two reminders to us of human beings that were inspired by the Holy Spirit. John the Baptist allowed the Holy Spirit to inform his preaching. He converted many people and allowed them to receive a baptism of repentance. Mary herself was overshadowed by the Holy Spirit and cooperated with God's plan, allowing the Holy Spirit to conform her heart to God's, to enlighten her mind and to align her will to God's will. When John the Baptist and Mary were united in the Holy Spirit, they allowed God to do amazing things through them. Here at St. John's, we want to be like Mary and John the Baptist, united in the Holy Spirit and allow the Lord to do amazing things here in New Brighton and beyond.